Hey guys, I'm Anmol Satcher, a YouTuber, content creator and influencer. And today I'm going to share with you all a story that I've never shared in detail before. A story that will remind you that you are not alone. A story that will inspire you. A story that will prove to you that having mental illnesses doesn't have to mean the end of the world. A story about my 11 year long battle with depression, anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder and how I ended up making videos that spread laughter even though I was in such a dark place myself. It all began somewhere around the 10th grade. I was an extremely bright student, topper in academics, all-rounder, head boy of the school. But there was this need for excellence within me. A constant need for excellence and perfection meant a lot of self-imposed pressure. From the outside, it all looked perfect. Anyone who looked at my life from the outside could not in their wildest dreams imagine that I was in so much pain 24-7. And as my 10 boards came near, the pressure kept mounting and I started to snap at every single thing. From being super annoyed to even getting violent, my mental health took a drastic downwards turn. Back then, mental health as a topic of conversation was almost non-existent in India. Going to a psychiatrist was considered a taboo and was equated with being mad. But my parents knew something was majorly wrong and they took me to a psychiatrist to diagnose me with clinical anxiety, depression and OCD. If any of you suffer from even one of these illnesses, you know how difficult it is to manage. Having a combination of these three, it was a nightmare coming to life. I was prescribed hours of therapy and heavy dosage of medication which kept me kind of drugged all day to control my outbursts. However, things continued to spiral out of control and went so downhill that at one point I had to be admitted into a rehab under the advice of my psychiatrist. It was only a matter of three days in the rehab but those three days were some of the scariest three days of my life. Uh, if none of you or your loved ones have ever faced any mental illnesses, it may be very difficult for you to comprehend what it feels like. Uh, having ha having uh, to explain is also a challenge in itself. I cannot explain what it feels like because it's this feeling that it, it's, it's not just feeling stressed, it's not just feeling low, it's not something you can just snap out of. It's this feeling that everyone and everything is working against you. It feels like your brain is a battleground 24-7. It's uh, sleeping all right one night to not wake up fine the next morning. It's feeling very lonely even though you're surrounded by your loved ones. Uh, I would battle these intrusive, illogical thoughts all day long that would play on loop in my head and they felt so real that I'd shudder. I was craving for peace of mind. I had begun to lose hope. I had begun to believe that I'll never be happy again. I had begun losing friends. I had even contemplated committing suicide on multiple occasions. I was taking 12 pills a day and of course these pills came with a lot of side effects. So a combination of not moving out of bed for days together, binging on junk food to get that serotonin boost and the side effect of these medicines meant I put on a lot of weight. Looking at myself in the mirror in that overweight avatar made me feel even further depressed. It made me reach out for more junk food and that meant I put on more weight and I was trapped in this vicious cycle that meant I went from a fit teenager of 75 kgs to an obese adult of 124 kgs. And my anxiety attacks, they were extremely bad. I would scream at the top of my lungs, I'd break things, I'd get violent. And during one such anxiety attack, I still clearly remember seeing my parents, my brother, uh, sitting there helpless with tears in their eyes, wanting to help me but not knowing how to. I remember mom coming up to me and saying, Beta, just hold on, things will get better. This too shall pass, we are by your side. So what happened? What changed? How did things get better? You all must be wondering. There is no magic pill that can cure mental illnesses overnight. It is a process where every single step in the right direction is a victory. I had to be resilient through the pain. But one thing that really helped me apart from the therapy that I took was talking to my family and my then girlfriend, now wife. I'd share with them all my illogical thoughts. I'd tell them the thoughts that were bothering me, playing on loop on my, in my head all day. They would not judge me. They would not make me feel like my struggles were very small. They were not real. Uh, they would just hold my hand, hug me and make me believe that better times were to come. Now I know that not everyone has the luxury of having a family member who listens and more importantly understands. But I'm sure you can find that one friend, that one relative, that one person who will be there for you, who will listen to you, who, will, who you can confide in. And if you still feel that there is no one you can talk to, you must seek out for professional help. A thing that really helped me was I spent hours reading up about other people's experiences about mental health, about how they dealt with their anxieties, how they managed their depression and that really really helped me. Apart from that, I started to push myself to work out, one day at a time, one step at a time. There's this quote that really motivated me throughout my workout journey and it stuck along with me. Uh, it doesn't get easier, you get better. So as I started to push myself to do one rep extra, one minute of workout extra, 
I started to see results. I started to feel better about myself. And uh, within a span of one year, I lost about 38 kgs. Things started to get better overall, day by day, little by little. I started to move out more often. I got back the confidence to meet people more often. My medication doses came down from 12 pills a day to none. And that was a big achievement for me. I started watching a lot of comedy videos and not only watching, by the end of 2016, I started creating my own comedy videos. I started doing this because I knew the value of a smile. I knew the value of laughter. I knew how important it is to smile when you're in a dark place 24 seven. I found my escape in comedy. Uh, no doubt when I started, the growth was slow, but I felt blessed to be able to follow my passion as my career. And after more than six years in this industry, I feel grateful that I can spread smiles to millions of viewers. Uh, so everything was going perfect. Things were absolutely normal. My family and I had almost forgotten about the days of those horrific outbursts. It was almost as if I had never fallen ill. Uh, but then in 2018, we had a major personal family crisis and I had a relapse of my depression and anxiety. One thing that this relapse taught me was that uh, mental health journeys are not going to be a straight line. There will be ups and there will be downs. Even today I have extremely bad anxiety attacks and this feeling of hopelessness. But I'm able to manage myself better. I just focus on the silver lining. Uh, even today, I'm able to continue and keep going in spite of the relapse. It's because of my motive to spread smiles, because of my passion to work and because of my family. During my mental health journey, I got myself tattooed uh, with Still I Rise. And that's a reminder to me that I've been through so much in life and risen through it all. And I will continue to do so. Because it's very important to remember that just like good times don't last forever, bad times aren't permanent either. And what's important is, uh, no matter how many times life knocks you down, getting back up stronger than before, every single time. So from shedding tears to spreading smiles, I've come a long way, but my journey has only just begun and I have a long way to go. To anyone who is in a dark mental space or is battling any kind of mental illnesses, I really, really hope my story can inspire you and give you the belief that there will be a better tomorrow. I know it might be very difficult for you to hope or even believe that things might change for the better. I have been there. But believe me, there is a better tomorrow. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And even the darkest night will end and the sun will shine bright again. Thank you.